Hello, my dear students. I miss you all. I hope you are all fine and doing great. We're going to start with the literature of Unit 7, Majdi and the Dolphin. We have the following objectives to use the previous new words, uh, the vocabulary that we have learned in the past three days in sentences. Uh, we have to read, understand, and analyze a narrative story. I'm going to need you to bring, bring your uh, student books uh, and to work on them together. Okay. Now, what is a narrative story? A narrative fiction. Marty and the Dolphin, the text that we are going to discuss uh, in a few minutes, it's a narrative fiction. Narrative fiction means like uh, when you tell a story and fiction when it's not, it's not facts. So it's out of someone's imagination. In this narrative fiction story, a friendly dolphin saves a boy named Majdi during a storm. We're going to know all the details of the story later, but now we have something else to focus on. Uh, the narrative fiction uh, story, or each story, mainly uh, consists of types or elements, sorry. So we have the first element, characters. From the title that we have, Majdi and the Dolphin, we can, we can like, uh, predict that Majdi is a character, right? And Dolphin is a character also. We must have a plot in each story. Plot means the actions of the story. And the setting, when and where, the time and place of the story. Okay. Now, every story has characters, as I have said. For a better understanding, I want you to copy the following link and watch the video before we start. Okay, now I want you to open your student books, page 72, and follow up with me. I'm going to start reading and explaining for you guys. So please follow up. Majdi looked out of the window and saw clear blue skies. Yes, he shouted. See these quotation marks? What, what does it mean? It means that it's someone else's word. Yes, excellent. It's, it's a beautiful day. I can go fishing. Hi, Dad. Bye, Dad. It's a beautiful day. See you later, shouted Majdi. So these words are what? Are Majdi's words, right? Excellent. He was so excited that he was speaking very, very fast. He rushed out of the house with his fishing rod. Remember the fishing rod? If you look at the picture that you have in your books, Majdi is holding something. The fishing rod that we use to fish. Excellent job, guys. What did he say? Asked his sister. He said it was a beautiful day for fishing, chuckled Majdi's dad with a big smile on his face. What? Do you remember the word chuckled? It means that he laughed quietly, like he was happy for his son because his son is happy and he wants to go fishing. He is always happy when he goes fishing. Majdi raced to the beach. He went fast to the beach. Remember race? That he went really fast to the beach and untied his little red fishing bo boat. Maybe today I'll catch a fish for dinner, he thought. He waded. Remember the word waded? To walk, excellent, with no shoes nor socks in a shallow water. So he waded out into the warm blue water, pushing the boat until it floated. So the boat was, was where? On the beach. He untied his boat and walked in the shallow water until the boat floated in the water. Then he jumped into it and paddled towards some rocks. So he has paddles for his boat. So he paddled towards some rocks. Majdi looked over the side of the boat and saw a lionfish. This picture right here that we have is its lionfish. He knew that the lionfish were very dangerous. Before we continue with the next slide, guys, I want you to answer the following questions. Excellent. Question two. Can you name other characters? In this story, we talked about Majdi and Majdi's dad. Excellent. And who else? Majdi's sister. So we have Majdi's dad and Majdi's sister. The third question. Can you give one description of Majdi's character? Like how, how, how is he as a character in the story? 
at the beginning of the story. Yes, excellent. He's a happy boy. He's excited. You can say excited and happy. Great job, guys. Okay, now I want you to open your pseudobooks, page 72. Now, we're ta we were talking about what? The lionfish, that they were dangerous. They could sting you. Majdi sat and watched quietly as it dove under the boat and disappeared under the rock. See, he was afraid of the lionfish. Next, he saw a parrotfish. The picture that we have right here is a parrotfish with its shiny blue, purple, and green scales gliding through the water. Remember the word gliding? It means like moving smoothly with no noise, no effort. So parrotfish are tasty, he thought. Maybe today I'll catch a parrotfish. Mesti put a piece of bread on the hook of his fishing rod and threw the fishing line into the water. So he wants what? To fish. Then he threw more bread into the water. Why? To attract the fish. Suddenly, hundreds of fish swam up to the boat. There were bright yellow fish, black and white fish that looked like zebras, fish with long noses and big fat puffer fish. So we have lots of different kind of uh, types of fish. Majdi knew all their names. He beamed with delight. He smiled with delight. Maybe I won't catch any fish today, he thought. They are beautiful. So he was just pleased that he was looking at the fish. He was, he was so happy that he did not even think of catching any. Maybe today I'll just watch them. Majdi pulled his paddles into the boat, turned onto his stomach to watch the fish, and fell asleep in the warm sun. Majdi woke up feeling chilly looking up. Okay, now I want you to answer the following questions as well. The first one, do you think that throwing more bread into the water was a good idea and why? Yes, he wanted to throw more bread to attract more fish. So it was a good idea because Majdi wanted to attract more fish and hundreds of Fish swam up to the boat. Why Majdi beamed when he saw different types of fish? Because he knew all their names. Great job. Okay, who is the main character? Majdi is the main character. Great job. How does he feel? Now, what do you think? Yes, he's happy. He's, he's having a great time relaxing in the boat. Great job, guys. Okay, let's continue. He saw black skies, big waves. Now, he felt asleep and then he woke up. Looking up, he saw black skies. Big waves were shaking his little red fishing rod. Shaking his little red fishing boat, sorry. And it was drifting out to sea. Two of Majdi's friends, Malik and Ali, were playing on the beach. Hey, Majdi, Majdi, they shouted. Come back, there's a storm. Their words floated across the water carried by the wind. So was he able to hear them? No, because their words floated across the water and carried by the wind. When there is lots of winds around, you cannot hear your, uh, your classmates or your friends if you are outdoors. What did you say? Majdi yelled. So he yelled at them. What did you say? We said that there was a storm, shouted Malik and Ali. Come back. Oh, oh, thought Majdi. He tried to paddle towards the beach. He wants what? To go back to the beach because the storm is, is dangerous. But the waves pushed him further away. A huge wave crashed in, onto his boat, throwing him into the water. Oh, no, help, help. So he was what? He was out of his boat in the water and he was about to drown, right? Majdi cried. Cry means like yelled or screamed. But just at that moment, he felt something under the water. Okay, the first question. Majdi was able to go back to the beach, true or false? Great job, guys. Of course, false. Because he was what? He was in the water. He was asking for help. If you were in Majdi's place, what would you feel? 
Imagine that you are in the sea alone in your boat. You wanted to go and have a great uh, day. The, 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 the sky was blue. But suddenly a storm came. What would you feel? I will definitely feel very scared and helpless. Great job, guys. Let's continue. Now, a very big something then. To his surprise, he was moving through the waves at high speed. So he he saw something beneath him, and then at uh, to his surprise, he was moving through the waves at high speed, heading straight for the beach. He looked down and saw a beautiful grinning face. It was a dolphin. The dolphin splashed and jumped through the water. So remember the word splashed means what? To cause a liquid. Yes, excellent. To cause a liquid to fly in drops. To wet someone. So he was carrying Mejdi on its back. The dolphin used its powerful tail to propel, to move forward, right? To propel its body through the water. When they got to the shallow water, the dolphin dropped Mejdi on the sand and then swam up and down in front of him. Thank you, my friend, whispered Mejdi. Every day afterward, Mejdi and the dolphin played in the ocean. So they beca became friends later. The dolphin told Mejdi tricks, such as how to dive deep down to the ocean floor, how to float, how to glide through the water, and how to stay away from the storm. So do, what do you think, guys? Uh, how do you think Mejdi feels when he sees the dolphin? He, he's very lucky, right? Imagine that you were in his shoes. He's, he's very lucky. He, he, I think that he feels that he's really thankful and lucky because he was about to die in the storm, but the dolphin saved his life. 